Hey, folks. I'm already starting to dance. Already dancing. Um, great to see y'all. Good to be here on a Monday night. Um, I got a little sunburn yesterday, so my nose is a little pink. That's okay. Um, I'm on spring break, baby. I am very happy. Um, I had the day off today. I have the whole week off, pretty much. In fact, I might actually do an early stream on a weekday. I don't know who's gonna watch it, but I might do it just for just for the fun of it. Um, but again, great to be here. We are here in Pokemon Crystal. Here I am, man. Um, but uh, <laughs> thanks, mom. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hop back in here in. Whitney's gym. I believe we already fought the first trainer in here. Um, hello! Good to see you! So we are hopping in here again. We're gonna fight this person. I believe that she's got some Meowth. Oh crap. She blocks our way. We gotta go around. But it's been a pretty good day today. I just kind of ran a lot of errands. I did a little work on some new music that I'm working on getting close to uh, releasing. I am, I always say this, I am legitimately very close in, you know, many ways. Uh, I hate to see that flinch. But I still just have a little bit longer to go on it. Just a few more problems that I'm working on just figuring out how to solve. But, uh, so here's a new thing. In this generation, Bite is not a normal move. Bite is a dark type move. So this Meowth actually has a pretty good workaround against our Rock-type um, Onyx there. And I believe... Okay, Payday. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, Madam Web is not gonna be able to finish this off. I might just let Madam Web faint here. Yeah, that's no big, no big deal. We'll let my wife clean it up just to spread our experience around. But of course, if I flinch or get a critical hit and die, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. All right. So now we just gotta go into my big two. My big two, let them clean up this mess. Rocky will grow a level here, though. So, here at Whitney's gym, we are getting ready for Whitney's Mill Tank. Mill Tank is a new Pokemon introduced in Generation 2. In Generation 1, if you recall, haha, -ha, how's that feel? Meowth. In Generation 1, if you recall, there is the Pokemon Tauros, which is like a cool bull Pokemon. And in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, they introduce Miltank, which is kind of like the girl cow Pokemon, basically. But Whitney's is really strong, specifically because it has a really good moveset. Yeah, we're gonna hop back down here heal those fallen members of our squad. There we go. Ooh, something we can do, because the other day I tried to just do something off stream just so I could have it ready for you guys today, but then I realized it wasn't going to be ready in time. But in the meantime, I was just riding my bike around, and what can happen if you ride your bike around enough is that the bike shop will call you and be like, yo, dude, thanks for riding the bike. You can keep it. And you're like, sick. The power of advertising. Something I hope to do on YouTube. Or here. Someone pay me to advertise. Almost anything. If it's just like a regular item that I'm not morally against, I'll advertise it. Um, but what are we going to do here? We gotta fight these remaining trainers in her gem. We'll probably just keep Rocky in the front. But yeah, her mill, ta her mill tank is very powerful. It has a move called Rollout, which is a new move in this generation. It is a rock type move, but many different Pokemon can learn it. And the idea is that the Pokemon just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and never stops and can continue to hit you. Um, and it gets more powerful, it like stacks. So if you can really let her mill tank get rolling, such a pain in the butt, you are correct. Um, and that's one of the reasons that her mill tank is really powerful. Um, because if it just gets rolling, you can just die so easily. I'm really happy these charms are missing because charm can lower your attack power two stages, which is a lot. 
and there we go. But, sup, yo? Good to see ya. But yeah, we got Snubble down enough, and we had the Screech up, so we should be good. But yeah, that's one of the reasons we want to use Rocky, um, because the rollout can restart after five turns. It will restart after five turns, and we're probably going to try to hit it with some Mud Slaps too to lower its accuracy. Here, we'll go into Margo. Probably let Margo get that last level to level 17 against this last trainer. Um, but yeah, if it gets a full head of steam, it can kill you. It also has a move Stomp that can make you flinch. It has a, a, a TM move Attract, where if you use it on a Pokemon of the opposite sex, um, it can make them infatuated and they might not move because they're in love, which is cute. Um, but you know, not very uh, LGBTQ positive, I suppose. Um, but you know, it's a game mechanic. What can you do? Um, so we got Margo. Uh, is that the one that'll paralyze? Um, yes, Glare, yes. Um, I have Glare right now. Um, it's very, very... I'm probably going to carry it on Dunsparce throughout the entire run. Um, honestly, that's probably one of the reasons we were able to um, win the bug catching contest was because we were able to just hit our, that pincer with a glare and catch it with enough HP. Um, but yeah, and Miltank knows the move Milk Drink, which can heal you. It's like recover, basically. So, nice. Love to see it. I'm gonna use Rage. Oh no! Okay, good. <laughs> I'd say the Love Ball is pretty nice. Love to see it. Um... <laughs> the love is love ball, I suppose. That's great. Um, but, uh, so yeah, here is Whitney. Oh, and I'm very excited for tonight because we've really been rocking the Margo Sanaiquil combo. I think we're finally going to get our next team member tonight. Rupert Grunt, if you will. Um, and I'm very excited about that. But here, we're just going to start with Margo. And we are going to... It's bugged in this gen where it has a higher chance of catching Pokemon of the same sex. Oh, great! I actually don't know if I knew that. Um, well, there you go. <laughs> Representation in Pokemon Crystal. I love to see it. So here we go. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. But she is known as being... Uh, Whitney is great because she's known as being very, like, fearsome and hard to defeat, especially for, like, first-time players. And she still might knock us out here. We'll see. Um, Leader Whitney wants to battle. She starts with a Clefairy. And the Clefairy is usually not too much trouble. It can... It will use Metronome, which is a move that uses any random move. So we'll see. Petal Dance! That's a pretty strong move. That's one of the strongest grass moves in the game. Luckily, Clefairy doesn't really have the special attack stat to use it very well. And it's locked into it now. Petal Dance is like Thrash, if you remember. Where it will, it, you'll lock yourself into it and it will confuse you afterwards. Um, so this is a pretty good... Pretty good start here. Margo picking up the kill. Alright. Oh, we're trying to learn Spite. Oh, okay. Um, I'm probably not going to use Spite. Spite is a move that will eliminate some of the power points of a, a move that an opposing Pokemon uses. But that's probably not one we're going to use for the run. Okay, so here's Miltank. So here's my strategy. Its rollout is actually going to be super effective against the NyQuil. So... It's probably going to start with it, but I'm going to try to get some uh, some accuracy drops with Mud Slap. See, there it is. Um, so NyQuil might be able to live one more. I'm hoping this next one misses so I can get more accuracy drops on here. Okay, did not live. So that plan wasn't great. <laughs> um, 
All right, so what we're gonna wanna do here... Also, the fastball you got is bugged to have a higher chance of catching mons that can flee. Oh, I actually didn't know that. So it's not faster, it's technically like faster as in Pokemon that might run away. That's very interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm actually going to go into Margo. We're going to see if we can paralyze. <laughs> Most of the bugs, balls are bugged. Yeah, you're right. This game has fewer bugs than Generation 1, but there are certainly still some. I hate to see rollout still hitting. Don't kill me. Great. Awesome. Okay, that is great to see. Now we should always outspeed the mill tank, which is great. It has three rollouts built up. It can only use two more before it has to restart. <laughs> Playing these games for 20 years and I still learn. Yeah, absolutely. Always more to learn. Um, yeah, I've also played these games just so. Hopefully we can get some uh, flinch action going here. Let's Margo! Yes! Thank you! Let's Margo! Let's get these flinches going! Okay. Okay! Let's do it! Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Let's go! Survive! Oh, Margo! I salute you, Margo. That was awesome. Um, okay, here... Here I'm gonna go into Rocky. This should... Rocky should be able to finish the job. Margo did die a hero. She really did. Salute. Um, one rock throw should do it. If it hits, oh no! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh. oh, that's terrible. Okay, now we got a screech. Um, to see if Rocky can get some more off. Luckily, <coughs> in, for real. Luckily, Rocky can live some stomps and some rollouts. Um, pour one out for the homies. Thank you. Okay, good. I think with our paralysis, we're going to lower the defense a lot. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I'm actually going to swap Rocky out. Um, we have some good defense drops here. Uh, Madam Web's not going to be able to do much. But we can just keep uh, hitting and hopefully that paralysis can <laughs> kick in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Um, the mill tank's tough, man. It's a team effort. We had to do some accuracy drops. We had to do some paralysis. We had to do some... There we go. Let's go. Hit the tackle. Thank you. GG. Full team effort. 50% chance of being infatuated. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Being infatuated is, like, so annoying. So Rocky's going to get a ton of experience. Um, Woot! Absolutely two levels for Rocky. Um, good work, buddy. Good work. <laughs> and Whitney just starts crying. <laughs> you shouldn't be so serious, you child. Wow, reminds me of some of my kids at school. Um... Let's see. <laughs> and then she just keeps crying. She just doesn't give you the badge. She's just crying. More crying. And then you go to leave because you're like, she's not going to give it to me. And then this girl's like, yo, just let her cry it out. She'll be okay. <laughs> and then you can talk to her and she'll give you the badge. She gets over it quick. Uh, here's plain badge. Just a plain old badge. Just a plain badge for plain folk. Um, ah, yes, we can use strength out of battle, so that's happy. Ba, 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 ba. And this is actually the TM for Attract, which is amazing. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? Well, good work, team. Again, it takes a village to take out the mill tank. When you are not, like, over-leveled, and we are not, because we were a couple levels under her mill tank, um... It's, it takes the whole squad. So that was awesome. We got some pretty decent paralysis luck, I feel, but we had some pretty bad luck with her hitting rollout early. So this is the girl that was out by the wiggly tree. <laughs> About the jiggly tree, she said. <laughs> she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Wendy, Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. So now we can talk to her. She'll be like, oh, you're better than Whitney. Here's your bottle. 
Um, when I first beat this gym, I literally wandered around the map and had no idea how to get the badge until I came back in. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't even know the game could let you do that. Oh, I guess after that late that girl talks to you, you could just leave, I think. Um, so that that's hilarious. Um, okay, so we have the squirt bottle now. So we know that the, the wiggly jiggly tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. Um... We could, in theory, fight some of those cops because it's nighttime now. Uh, but I'm actually going to wait because I think we're actually going to get two new squad members um, this time. Why did I come to the PC? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to check my pack. We have four Pokeballs, three Great Balls. Let's buy some more Pokeballs at the Mart here. Because we're going to need some. Get a Super Potion. Um, I'm going to grab an Awakening. Because that could be useful for the gym we've got coming up. Let's see. Buy a couple Great Balls. Buy a couple Pokeballs. Okay. Um, do I think there'll be enough room for the nickname Rupert Grunt? I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out, that's for sure. Um, on this floor, you can buy vitamins that can be really useful. But here, we are going to buy a TM. Yes, we can only afford one. Um, we are going to go ahead and buy Thunder Punch. This is a great thing that they have in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, is that you can buy Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. Very, very useful TMs to have. A lot of Pokemon can learn the punches. Um... And that Thunder Punch is a move. We'll probably teach Fire Punch as well. Um, and those are moves that we'll learn later. I just have to come back and buy Fire Punch because we didn't quite have enough money after buying those balls. Um, oh, but yes, as I was saying, if you ride around the bike a lot, which we might get the message soon here. Just ride around. And then the guy will give us a call to say we can keep the bike, which is great. And it's probably one of the easiest, like, bike situations in any... Oh, yeah, we'll keep Marble in the front in any of the Pokemon games. Grunt! That's right. Um, there were these two trainers that we skipped up here. I'm going to keep them skipped. Um, let's see. I'm literally doing the same thing right now to hatch some eggs. Nice! Um, yeah, we have our odd egg here. I wonder how close it is. Oh, it needs more time, though. It's not that close. So the odd egg... We kind of talked about the Togepi egg. The odd egg can be a few options because something that they introduce in this game, yeah, we'll fight this trainer. She has, I think she has Venonat. Because this is a closer way, a faster way to get to the Wiggly Tree. Um, yeah, just one Venonat. So Nightquil should make pretty easy work. Um, one thing about the odd egg is that it can be any of the several baby Pokemon that they introduce in this game. The baby Pokemon are pre-evolved forms of Pokemon that already exist. So something that they did in Gold, Silver, and Crystal was that they added evolved forms to Pokemon that already exist. Um, for example, Onix evolves um, in this game. But they also added pre-evolved forms, Pokemon uh, that are technically now the first form. Um, Pichu, for example, of now evolves into Pikachu, where in the original games, Pikachu was the um, just first in that evolution line. Uh, great. Just hit through the supersonic. But the odd egg can be any of several baby Pokemon. Like, there's a pre-evolved form of Magmar now, a pre-evolved form of Jinx, a pre-evolved form of Electabuzz... Um, and I didn't want to use it on the squad, um, because it is just kind of like a chance, um, and I didn't want to, like, hinge the, uh, the construction of the team to chance. Hinge it on chance, I should say. Um, so my wife cuts through this tree here, because, uh, we went through the National Park last time. But uh, you can also do that cut tree there. Oh, yes, we fought that guy with the Tangela. 
So here we're gonna save, because this is not a Pokemon that I'm planning on using for the squad, but I do always like to catch it. Um, this is kind of like the Snorlax of this game, so to speak. And I love it so much. It's a weird tree. Use the squirt bottle? SCG, use the squirt bottle. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. Ooh. Just a really great, like, inventive spiritual successor to Snorlax. Um, Sudowoodo is a Pokemon I love. And But again, this is a Pokemon that's like kind of like an obvious candidate to use on your squad because it's like right there. You can get it pretty much every playthrough. Um, and so this is not going to be great. Learn Headbutt. I'm actually going to swap to Sunyquil here. Uh, I'm going to hit it with some Mud Slaps. Lower that accuracy. Oh, wow, that does nothing. <laughs> um, what does Ember do? Still not a lot. Um, but Pseudo Wudo, um, I should explain. It's actually a really cool uh, design concept because the, its whole thing is that it looks like a tree, but it is actually a rock-type Pokemon. And, um, you know, you would think a tree would like water, but this tree hates water because it's a rock-type. And in Pokemon, rock-type Pokemon are weak to water. Um, so it's a really cool concept, and it's kind of based on, like, um, throw a great ball here. Um, it's kind of based on like, what's the word? Not, I guess, I guess like fossilized wood technically, or like preserved wood in that way. Flail is a move that does more damage the less amount of HP that you have. So getting hit with the flail there is gonna hurt pretty bad at this point. Um, and again, catching pseudo wudo can be kind of tough. Yes, it is. Petrified. That's the word I'm looking for. Petrified wood. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, Sudowoodo is kind of based on petrified wood. Wood that's like in stone, essentially. So yeah, it's a really cool Pokemon. And it does like a funny little dance. Uh, and in later gens, it's characterized as being like very kind of like movements like that. It's very, it's a very cool, very... Has a lot of personality, does Sudowoodo. Come on! I'm trying to save some great balls for something I want to actually use, but... You kidding me? Come on, dog! Alright, now Sonicle's dead. Um, I've got you weakened down just about as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna start with our Pokeballs here. No... <laughs> it's a huge crybaby in the anime, yeah. <laughs> Come on! There we go. Oh, what should I name Pseudo Wudo? Remember, we're not going to use him, so this is not Rupert Grunt. I already know what we're going to name Rupert Grunt, and I'm excited. Um, if a tree branch shakes when there is no wind... Uh, I didn't read the rest of that. <laughs> not a tree. It hides from the rain. Very funny. Um, let's see... Give me a pseudo nickname. Lip-bup. Also love that little thing. Doing his little dick. Crybaby! Love it! Love it! Good old Crybaby. Was sent to Bill's PC. So here, now, we can go over here. And this actually leads back to Violet City. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. And this guy actually gives you the TM for Rock Smash. It can uh, uh, smash some rocks in the overworld. Um, it's also like a decent kind of weak fighting type move in actual battle. Um, but it's actually not something that you need to like progress through the story or anything. We're going to pop over here because there's this cut tree that we can cut down now that we have access to it. And there is something here. A Hyper Potion. Great. Um, lovely. Um, there's also, we can surf on that water at some point. And I'm going to hop into this Pokemon Center just to heal up the squad real quick before we continue on. Um, again, like I said, we should be 
grabbing two more squad members. <laughs> Mountain Dew's my hyper potion, not mean. I do not mean. Um, specifically Baja Blast. Baja Blast is my flavor. Also, um, I don't think they make it anymore. It was the orange kind. It was Live Wire, I believe it was called. That was a great flavor of Mountain Dew. Um, so these girls we're going to skip for now because, again, we are going to add some members to the squad. So uh, once we do that, I'm going to kind of backtrack and fight some of the trainers that we have skipped because we've definitely skipped quite a few um, at this point. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just checking my little list here. So, but we'll go ahead and fight this guy because he spins around and he's kind of... Uh, Oh, you still have uh, Livewire? That's awesome! Very awesome. Um, yeah, I'm, I, they might still have it. I just don't I don't drink pop that much anymore. Um, or soda, whatever you call it. Where I grew up, we call it pop. We grew up, we called it pop. Um, I kind of call it those now. Okay, I know this drowsy can be very annoying. It really tries to put you to sleep and use Dream Eater. Um... But we make quick work with Margo. No kidney stones for me! Hooray! Oh, I'll probably get kidney stones in some other way. <laughs> uh, Alright, so here... We got a vibe to the new tracks in a new area. This is Ecrutique City. Uh, this place is based on Kyoto. Kyoto. Oh, yes, and here we have our friend Bill. You remember him from Pokemon Yellow. He uh, developed the Time Capsule. So something that we're not really gonna get into in our playthrough is that Bill's Time Capsule lets you trade between red, blue, and yellow into gold, silver, and crystal, but the moves and things that you bring in have to exist, basically. Or like, or I guess the things that you send back to red, blue, and yellow have to exist. So you can't send like a Lady Ba into red, blue, and yellow because that Pokemon doesn't exist in that game. That's what he's explaining right now. I can just let him talk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so uh, Bill tells us about the time capsule here, and yes, he, his, uh, parents live in Goldenrod City. So we are actually going to hop back to Goldenrod City to find a member of the squad. Um, okay, but here, it's finally time. We are going to catch Rupert Grunt. It might take a little bit. Um, get a couple Pokeballs, a couple Great Balls. Um, oh yes, here you can buy revives, which is great. But I'm just gonna buy one super potion. That'll take us down on our money. But you know, I was kind of telling you about how your trainer number indicates where rare spawns are going to be in uh, when you headbutt trees. And I used my handy dandy little uh, calculator thing here that's just randomly on the internet and my number is correct so according to it we should be able to find rare spawns at this tree and remember we were not going to be able to find rare spawns um spawns in azalea town which is where i wanted to but we should be able to find rupert grunt but something that we're going to have to do is headbutt this tree quite a lot Or not at all. First try, baby. Rupert Grunt is here. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I really wanted to use a hair cross on this run. Um, that is so awesome. <laughs> um, we're definitely going to paralyze him. And again, this is why I wanted to save some of those trainers, because our boy Heracross here is only at level 10. Um, so... Um, this is actually great that we have some weaker Pokemon here. And also great, Madam Web cannot poison Heracross because he is paralyzed. 
so we don't have to worry about accidentally killing him that way. He is going to kill Madam Web here for certain. Yeah. Um, absolutely. I don't think a Mud Slap will kill him. Mud Slap is a very weak move uh, because doing damage and, yeah, and it's not very effective too. Uh, no! I didn't know he could do that. Oh no. Oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> oh no. Rupert! Uh, we'll have to find him again. Oh, that's devastating. <laughs> oh no. And see this Spiro, uh, use your fastball in the next one. You were so right. Um, okay, here we go. Ah, Rupert's gonna be a girl this time. Love to see it. Um, so do I just throw it? Um, let's see. I'm just gonna chuck it. I'm just gonna chuck it. Oh no. Dang it. <laughs> okay. This is gonna happen, gang. It's gonna be great. We have the magical tree where all the Heracross are. Um, it's gonna be sick. And if you notice, last time we were headbutting trees, the hoot, there we go. Hello, Heracross, good to see you again. Um, four times multiplier. I know, <laughs> it does help if you weaken it. I was just so afraid of it running away. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna paralyze you, awesome. And we're gonna use a move that's gonna weaken you a little. This'll do a lot of damage. It shouldn't kill it. I mean, we're. we're... Oh, baby! <laughs> Even if it killed it, we'd just find another one. We're champions, guys. We're champions. Please catch it. I would love this. I would love this. Oh, no. Um, this has been. Yes. <laughs> yes! Um. What a saga! Okay, Rupert, I, in, canonically, that's going to be the Heracross we already found. So this is the original Rupert. Yay! Absolutely. With its Herculean powers, it can easily throw around an object that is 100 times its own weight. Own weight. Heracross is a really cool Pokemon. It is a fighting and bug type Pokemon. But, it's so funny, Heracross doesn't really learn any fighting or bug type moves. It does learn a new bug type move called Mega Horn that's really powerful, but not till way later. And we are absolutely gonna nickname this. Okay, if Rupert Grunt won't fit, we will figure out some sort of stylization that will. Um, it's gonna be Rupert Rupert Gernt. Does Rupert Gernt work? What do we think, chat? We could call Heragross Rupert Gernt. We could call him R. Grunt. Rupert Grunt. Absolutely. That's a much better idea. Because that'll still kind of phonetically say Rupert. Rupert. Do we like Rupert Grunt or R Grunt? What do we think? Rupert Grunt? That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like Rupert Grunt. I like that. I'm gonna send it. Nice. Okay, so Rupert Grunt was sent to Bill's PC. Okay, so I can get rid of that on my computer. Um, do do do. That is so exciting. Um, I was... Oh, yes, and here's the bike shop call. Our bicycle sales have gone through the roof! We owe it all to your advertising. Hooray! Please keep that bicycle. Ah, I love that because it's so easy. You don't have to do anything. He just gives it to you. Um, so we are going to have to uh, deposit somebody, and it's probably going to be our girl, Madam Webb. We had some good adventures with you, Madam Web. But your time is now to just chill in the PC with Crybaby and Clench and Whoop and Wendy and Pogo and Cora and Volo. Yep. 
Gang's all here. You're not alone. Awesome. So here's Rupert Grunt. Um, I know Rupert Grunt does not naturally learn any fighting moves. We could teach him Rock Smash, potentially. I actually don't know if he learns it. That would be nice to have one same type attack bonus move. Oh, hooray! Learn Rock Smash. That's great. That is great. Because, again, Rock Smash isn't that powerful, but on a very powerful Heracross, um, with the same type attack bonus, it'll be very useful. That and Horn Attack, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good right now. So get stabbed, that's right, you're, tell you're telling me. Um, so here's Rupert Grunt. I really wanted to use Heracross on the squad because I wanted to show off a headbutt Pokemon um, in this run that you can get via headbutt, and Heracross is definitely the best one. Um, definitely the strongest. Um, you can catch a Pokemon that I love called Pineco. Another cool bug Pokemon, like a very defensive... Uh, Pokemon that evolves into a bug steel type fortress. Um, extra hand monkey boy. Yep, Apom. Um, love Apom, but uh, not particularly great team member. Um, we'll go ahead and start with these girls here on, uh, as we head our way back to Goldenrod City. So, uh, I know we just got to Ecrutique, but we are going to work our way back. Ooh, this is a great matchup for Rupert. We should be able to punch a punch above our weight class here. Um, mm, uh, maybe not quite yet. Another great thing about Rock Smash is that it can lower defense. Um, so even if it's not doing that much damage, it can you can kind of stack some damage that way. Nice! Looks like Horn Attack might have been doing more damage anyway. Alright, so Clefairy, another normal type. Great matchup for Rupert. Uh, disabled no more! Hooray! We'll have to swap out now, though. Um, let's see. Creepy. But very happy to have him on the squad. And the reason that we're going back to Goldenrod to see Bill is because Bill is going to give us our next team member. Which I'm very excited about. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's just hop on the bike here. Ooh, yeehaw. Um, and there's a lot of trainers in the National Park we can fight. Um, the thing that's tough... Oh, I forgot that we are weakened. Um, the thing that's tough about Heracross is that as a bug and fighting type, it is double weak to flying type move. So that's the one thing you've really got to be uh, cognizant of. Um, so what we're going to do here is that we need to make room for our next squad member. I actually think we're going to go ahead and deposit Rocky. Rocky the Onyx. You've done us very well, Rocky. Uh, and I, I'm glad I was able to kind of show you off that how that in-game trade can be very useful. But uh, you're, not gonna, you're not a part of our long-term plans. Sorry, buddy. Um, so let's heal up here. And I'll, I'll get rid of that odd egg eventually. I just really want to see what it turns into, to be honest. Um, and I'm just kind of getting some getting some bite work in because these steps will help hatch our egg. Let's see. I really just want to see what it is at this point. Um, it must be close to hatching. Excellent. All right. So let's go see our boy Bill and get our new member of the loop. Not that way. Get our new member of the squad. That's the game corner I was talking about. Um, so, Bill lives here. Oh, no, he does not. That's the underground entrance. Bill lives here. There's my boy. Hi, SCG. Do us a favor and take this Eevee. It came over when I was adjusting the time capsule. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. <laughs> Same, Bill. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, absolutely, you can count on me. All right. So here is something that we are going to start doing. I talked about the... Oh yes, we have to nickname our Eevee. What are we gonna nickname our Eevee? It's a boy, um, if anyone's got any suggestions. Something that we're gonna start doing is we are going to start worrying about our Eevee's friendship. 
because I wanted to showcase a friendship evolution that you can do in this game. And I know we used an Eevee last game, but um, you can get one of my favorite Pokemon of all time by evolving Eevee through friendship. If you evolve Eevee through, through friendship during the day, you'll get a certain Pokemon. And if you evolve Eevee through friendship, that's hard to say, at night, you'll get a certain Pokemon. Both are amazing, both are so cool, but one of them is my, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. And I'll let you guess, I'll let you guess what that is. Um, if, if, go ahead and comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube, what your uh, favorite uh, evolution is in this game. Um, but yes, Espeon, you guessed it, you guessed it. Um, so what will I nickname Eevee here? Um, Lucius. Oh, I love it. Um, but yes, Espeon is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Kyrie, aww. Mm, I love Kingdom Hearts, guys. That is a game that we will play on this channel at some point. Um, but I, oh, I love Kingdom Hearts. But we got Lucius first, and it's a boy. I don't know. I still have traditional gender roles entrenched in me, I suppose. Um, ah, yes, Professor Elm says Eevee could evolve in unknown ways. Yeah, that is correct. Um, and that's what I want to kind of show off. So, we have our new friend, Lucius the Eevee. Such a great name. Um, great sprite in this game, too. Um, just knows Tackle, pretty much. It's at level 20. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to make sure we are raising Eevee's friendship as much as possible. And how to do that is walk around with Eevee in your par party. What a cutie. Absolutely. Walk around with Eevee in your party. So a lot of times when I just really need to do s increase some friendship, I can just do a little bit of this. It really helps. Um, it also helps to hatch the egg as well. Um, but you can give them vitamins. There is something else that we can do, and I'm about to show you, you're ahead of me, haircuts. So if you go to the underground here, there's like a little underground area in Goldenrod City. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and save because we got some new squad members. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, um, absolutely. Shout it out if you know. Uh, because I'm kind of going through this game like, you know, kind of like to introduce it to someone who hasn't played it before, but I obviously know that a lot of people are interested in watching this game because they love it and already know it. So, um, just the balance, but I don't care. Shout it out if you already know it. Um, so this guy's got a Grimer, and these levels are a little closer to where we are, which is great, and we can get some levels on Luke with Grimer. But they actually give the... Eevee to us with a really nice level already. Level 20. Um, ah, oh crap. Um, there we go. I think I have an antidote in my bag I can give to Rupert Grunt. Um, excuse me. I'll go ahead and just let Margo get this one. Yeah, and I wanted to keep my wife on the squad for now. One, because she is really good for cutting trees down, and, you know, she's, she, I've got a soft spot for her. What can I say? Um, I'll put her in the box eventually, but I'll bring her back out when it's time to cut some trees down. Um, I'll just go ahead and pop. Oh yeah, I got four. Plenty. Plenty. So let's fight this next guy. Um, something else that can increase your friendship is um, using the Pokemon in a gym leader battle. But something that we are going to need to do, Victory Bell over Vileplume, I completely agree. Especially having now played through Yellow with that Victory Bell, like our special life Victory Bell. I have such a soft spot for Victory Bell now. Um, but uh, here's Lickitung looking as inappropriate as ever. Um, don't get a critical hit. Okay, great. Alright, we good. We good, Roop. There we go. Gaining some levels back. Trying to learn Endure. Well, that could be useful. Um, yes, I'll get rid of Tackle, because we have Horn Attack, and it's a, it's a stronger uh, normal-type move. We don't need Tackle. 
Um, might as well. I'll get rid of that anyway at some point. Really, mostly what we'll use Rupert for is and is uh, Horn Attack and Rock Smash. Oh yeah, here's the coin case. You have to go down here to find the coin case, and that's how you get coins to use at the game corner. Um, oh, the haircut guys aren't here right now. Oh no. They might not show up at night. Oh, I really wanted to give, uh, really wanted to give Evie a haircut. Um... Yeah, so giving your Pokemon a haircut will increase its friendship. And that's something that you can do once a day. Um, oh, they don't show up on Mondays! Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. This game is super into, like, daily events and day-night cycle stuff. Um, so something that might happen... I, for one team member in particular that I have planned... Um, it has to be on a certain day. So what I might end up doing is like doing a really short stream that day or like getting some footage and putting it on YouTube but not streaming it, just stuff like that. I might end up doing that or whatever. Um, but let's save here because we got a couple more battles. So we'll have to give Lucius a haircut on another day and that's okay. Really, the only thing that I need to make sure of is that we evolve Lucius by level 36. Because um, as long as we do that, that is when Lucius will learn um, a very useful same, ty same type attack bonus move um, for its new evolution. So I want to make sure we evolve him by that point. Not a stand with Margo, because Slowpoke's a bad matchup for our boy uh, Rupert. There we go, Margo. Margo is just a powerhouse on this squad, man. I tell you, I love her. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of clean up some battles for the rest of the stream, I think. Um, get these people down in the down in the underground here. Ah, something new about Magnemite. I don't think we've encountered one yet. Magnemite is actually a Steel type Pokemon in this game, which makes total sense now that they have invented the Steel type for Generation Two. And fighting type is super effective against it, so we can knock it out with a rock smash. Love to see it. Try to speed through a little bit here. But next time, we are going to get back up into Ecrutique City. We can fight the gym there. There are a few, like, big... Current highest level on your team is a Magneton. I love Magneton. I was kind of sad when they introduced um, Magnezone in Gen 4, um, because originally Magnemite evolves into Magneton, and that's as far as it goes. But in the Generation 4 games, they add one more evolution for Magnemite called Magnezone, which I don't like as much as Magneton. It's powerful, but, you know. Um, and I tend to enjoy the, uh, the OGs, because... As far as the Pokemon, Magnezone makes no sense to you. Yeah, I tend to agree, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, so now that underground actually leads up out up here by the radio tower there. So let's go ahead and heal. And we can go down here south of town toward Ilex Forest and we can uh, catch some of those trainers there. Um, but yeah, next time we will head back to Ecrutique. There are some really, there are some good story bits to do there. Um, we can get one of the strongest moves in the game, actually. Um, yes, I remember now what I plan on doing with that. Um, we can pick up one of the strongest moves in the game. Really, um, Ecrutique has one of the biggest area um, upgrades to me. Uh, because there's a special spot there called the Burn Tower. Um, and in gold and silver, it looks way different than it does in crystal. And again, that's kind of why I wanted to play crystal. There are some reasons why I do like gold and silver more. This is going to hurt Rupert. Don't kill me. Okay, great. Um, so we will swap. Excuse me. We will swap here. Um, let's let Lucius get in on the action. And remember, Lucius has that stab tackle, so it's a little more powerful than your run-of-the-mill tackle. 
Yes, and there's that uh, that officer fighting us at night. Officer Keith. Oh. Um, but yes, I believe we skipped you. Yes. We fought that woman with the uh, grass types. And yeah, again, some good levels for Rupert Grunt to catch up here. Should knock both of these out in one shot. Love to see it. Love to see it. There we go. And again, Heracross. Heracross is a single form Pokemon. Heracross doesn't evolve. It doesn't have any pre-evolutions. It's just a beast. Right out of the box. Um, so I'm really excited to use it. He's going to be one of the main members of the squad here, and especially against a normal type Snubble. Rock Smash should be lovely. There we go. Love to see that. Oh yeah, some of these Pokemaniacs have berries on their Pokemon. Um, just to show how much they love him. His Mega Evo is pretty cool. Oh yeah, because in Generation 6 they introduced this mechanic called Mega Evolution, where just for a battle, it, it's not permanent, it's only in battle, your Pokemon can, like, kind of like Digivolve, <laughs> if you're familiar with Digimon, um, where it just soups up its form only in battle, and they gave Mega Evolutions, is what they called them in Pokemon, um, to select Pokemon that were popular or they thought needed something cool, and Heracross was one of them. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I, I, I really like some of the Mega Evolutions. So here's something with Spearow that can happen. If this doesn't kill it, it could really hurt us, okay, with Flying-type moves. But we good. We good. Sorry. Sorry for some speed up here, but some of these battles you don't need to... We don't need to take the full time on, you know? Sancher has good defense, though, so he'll live our horn attack. But one more will do the trick. Love to see it. All right, and that's it for the trainers down here that we skipped. We were able, even able to get the police officer there. So what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and fight some of the trainers north of town on our way to Ecrutique, um, and then we'll probably call it a stream for tonight. Um... I'm very excited to finish up the squad. We should be able to get our next team member fairly quickly. Um, but the final team member is not going to come until a bit later in the game. And I'm excited because it's another one of my very favorite uh, Pokemon. Excited to show it off. Oh, another Sand Shrew. This one at 13 rather than 10. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very good defense on Sand Shrew and Sand Slash. But nothing that our that our Rupert can't hit through. Very powerful Pokemon here across. Um, wow, it's great to see five people watching. I know that's not like a lot, but that's that's really great. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, yeah, because you know, I, I post these on uh, YouTube afterwards, so. I can connect with a lot of people after the fact, but it's good to see people stopping in live. I appreciate you. Um, so this is Meryl. Meryl is sometimes nicknamed Pika Blue because it's kind of it's kind of like Pikachu. Oh no, it's rolling out. Let's make sure it doesn't get ahead of steam. Um, and it was kind of like a mascot Pokemon for Generation Two when it was starting to come out, which made sense because Pikachu was just such a Runaway smash success. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Wow. Talk about traditional gender roles. Um, that's been a theme this stream, it seems. <laughs> um, she got a Pikachu, and we're gonna kill it! But not without a quick attack. Easy peasy. Pika Yellow, absolutely. <laughs> That's funny. Pika Blue and Pika Yellow. Um, uh, if any of you are anime fans out there, uh, in Generation 2 they introduced the character Tracy, 
And his name is Tracy Sketchit because he draws stuff. What a great name. Um, but uh, he had a mural, famously. And again, yeah, this ember's gonna hurt. Don't burn us great. But Rupert's kind of starting to get up there now, so we can hit through it a little bit. Um, really, there is one more trainer to clear out on this route. I'll let Sinaiquil get this one, hit him with some super effective mud slaps. Yeah, Sinaiquil needs a, needs a little more in the move set area. All right, if you're gonna roar Margo in, if you're gonna bring in the heavy hitter, be my guest, man. It's your funeral. Boom. She ain't kidding around. She never does. Um, but yeah, so there's both, both both the cops. I don't know why the only ones are here around Goldenrod. I'm pretty sure they're the only ones. So if we go down here, there's one more trainer we can fight. Uh, the Hoot Hoots are out because it's nighttime. But here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to let Lucius do this one, because, there we go. This guy has flying-type Pokemon, and that is a horrible matchup for Heracross. Birdkeeper Brian, he's got a Pidgey, and I think he's got a Pidgeotto as well. Um, oh, wow. Nice, Lucius. So again, I'm going to try to be a little judicious about when I use Lucius because, again, I don't want him to get too leveled up um, because, again, I want to make sure that friendship is maxed out or high enough to evolve by the time we hit level 36. Um, and that sounds like a long way away, but to evolve a Pokemon through friendship kind of takes a long time. Um, and that is why I didn't want to use Zubat in this playthrough because Zubat's new evolution, Crobat, happens through friendship. And I didn't want to have two Pokemon on the team that evolved that way. That was just going to be really hard to manage. And something else about friendship that I don't know if I mentioned is that this TM's for rollout, by the way. That could come in... That could very well come in handy. I think uh, Dunspar's going to run rollout. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can actually... Um, lose friendship points if the Pokemon faints in battle. So we're really going to make sure that Lucius never faints in battle. Um, and with that, friends, that clears out both of those routes uh, north and south of Goldenrod. So we're probably going to call it a stream here. We're closing in on an hour. Um, next time, we'll fight a few more trainers and we will really start to push into some story stuff and maybe taking on the fourth gym leader as well. Thank you so much for being here. You have a great night. Um, but yeah, f uh, folks, with that, if you are watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe, comment. Comment your favorite evolution. We talked about mine. Mine's Espeon. So, uh, and we're going to try to use them this run. And um, if you watch this, at whatever time, in whatever place, in whatever universe. Thank you. I'm rambling. Have a great night, folks. See you later.